Today we're going to be fixing a crack on this windscreen. It's quite a large crack. I've done many in the past using this kit, but not something of this size. So we'll see how it turns out. This is the windshield repair kit we'll be using today. It's made by Rainex. And the beauty of this kit is you can do multiple cracks with it. I've used this, like I said earlier, I've used this many times in the past and have had good results with it. We'll move on to the next step now. So that's the crack there. So this is looking at it from the inside. We'll start by giving the windscreen a good thorough clean. If you have any alcohol wipes or similar, you can use that to clean up the area. So this is looking at the windscreen from the outside. I just added a white piece of paper, so it will make it easier to clean the crack. Now it's just using the blade. We're just scraping away any loose fragments of the glass and just making sure there's no dirt or similar around that whole area and just gently use the blade and just remove any area even in the crack just put the blade in there and just clean up the area make sure you're gentle and careful while doing this next i used some compressed air and i just cleaned off the area if you don't have compressed air you can use a vacuum at this point i attached the applicator base and uh, I was just checking out when inside the vehicle. You'll see me remove the paper at a later stage. So this is just to ensure that it's perfectly centered over the crack. So as I showed earlier, I fixed the applicator base to the windshield and I made sure that the center ring was exactly above and centered to the actual point of impact. It's very important. So this is the screw resin chamber. This is the unit where you want to make sure, you want to make 100% sure that it's in the center of the crack and where the actual stone or similar has impacted the glass. You want to make sure it's dead center of that, that this is crucial. As long as you're 100% sure that you have centered this right in the middle, you will get a good result. As I'll show you later in this video. You'll also notice me uh, adjust the applicator base. It took me a couple of times because every time when I screwed the resin chamber in, when the actual, when the rubber pressed against the glass, it wasn't perfectly centered. So I had to move it a couple of degrees or down or move it a couple of mil left or right until I got it perfect. I kept doing this. Now at this point, I was ready to add the resin into the resin chamber. So what? Rainix normally recommend is three to six drops of resin. We I added five due to the size of the crack. So make sure you uh, put it right in the center of the chamber. And once you're done, then now you can screw in your pressure driver. Just hold the resin chamber and screw in the top pressure driver so that the actual resin chamber does not move while you're screwing in the pressure driver. At this point, if you do notice that there's resin leaking out from the bottom of the chamber, there's no problem. All you have to do is tighten the screw resin chamber. All you have to do is just tighten the resin chamber into the centering ring. So just tighten it a bit more. This should stop any leaks and you just, you can use a paper towel and clean the bottom. Just clean up any drips or anything somewhere, just wipe it down. But be careful not to move or accidentally bump the actual apparatus. This is just another angle showing how I held the uh, resin chamber and I screwed in the pressure driver. And I just double checked from the inside. This is a close up now of when I just put the resin in and I put the pressure driver. You can clearly see how the resin is filled in the cracks. At this point, five minutes had passed by. So now what you have to do is you have to unscrew the pressure driver. This will remove any air box that might be trapped in the resin chamber. This will also allow the resin to flow better into the crack. So you'll see now we unscrew it. And now you put it back in and you re-screw it and just leave it for a couple of minutes. So screw it right back in until you feel firm pressure and it's 
basically closed and it's tight against the resin chamber. I've repeated the process, moved the pressure divider again, and I've re-screwed it back into the chamber. You can you can do this a couple of times until until you achieve satisfactory results. So this is what it looks like now the after crack repair. Removing the pressure so at this point you can see now from the inside after removing the air it looks a bit better. More of the crack lines have been filled in. This is just a close up now with my light on so you can see a bit more clearly what it looks like when the resin is in the chamber on the crack. I applied a bit of heat around the glass. This will assist the flow of resin into the crack. I did this because it was quite a cold day. Here you can see me uh, putting in a couple more drops into the resin chamber and I screwed in the pressure driver. I wasn't too satisfied with the way the resin went into the crack so I repeated the process and I had only added two drops into the resin chamber and I re-screwed the pressure driver in. This will force more resin in before it's cured as you'll see in the next step. Take your time through this process as it's, it's quite important that you get it right the first time. You do not want the resin hardening or curing in the sun and then suddenly realizing that the crack has not been filled in properly. Now a little bit started dripping down from the bottom so I tightened it up a little bit against the windscreen and I just used a paper towel and I wiped off any extra. When you're happy with the result from inside you can unscrew the pressure chamber Start by unscrewing the, the pressure driver, then you unscrew the resin chamber, then you just pop off the suction cup, the apparatus. When you remove the applicator base, you can go ahead and wipe off any extra, but make sure you do not wipe off the resin from where the crack is. Just wipe off any extra that's below or around the crack. Do not wipe anything off that's on the crack where the repair was taking place. Do not wipe anything there. If you're unsure, just do not wipe the whole thing. Put your curing strip down first and then wipe off the extra. So now I added a drop of resin over the crack and I put my UV curing strip over the top. And like I said, if there's any extra that's come out after you added the strip, just wipe it down with a paper towel. Now we'll move the car into the sun, so it'll allow the resin to harden and cure. If for some reason you're working in the garage or if it's not a sunny day, you can easily use a UV lamp just to cure the resin. Now normally if you put it out in the sun it takes anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. I prefer to leave it a bit longer, I leave it for about 30 to 40 minutes just to ensure everything's cured. Once your resin is fully cured here, you can remove your curing strip. Before you come to the main crack here, you can actually check and see if it's cured. You should see a layer built up here. Don't know if you can see that, but that's quite hard. That's a good indication. So when, when that's cured, when you're sure of that, then you can pull this off. And you can go ahead and scrape off the extra. So this is what it looks like now, with all the resin in place. When everything is hardened, you can go ahead and start using the razor blade and scrape off all the extra resin. Clean off the extra resin, which will be like a flaky substance. So you can either vacuum that out or just wipe it and dispose of it safely. So once you're finished scraping off all the resin, that's what it looks like. So you can feel it, and make sure it's flush with the glass. If it's not, and if you can feel an indent here, 
then you want to put a bit more resin and put the curing strip back on and leave it in the sun again till it fills up so it should just fill up a bit more but this is this is perfect so that's what it looks like now we'll go inside and show you this is what it looks like from the inside now as you can tell it's barely noticeable and the resin's done a great job in filling in the cracks and the legs to where it started from so yeah overall i'm very happy with the job and it's turned out quite well so yeah if you do have a crack and if it's under the size that i'll put up now if it's under that size and i would highly recommend this kit thanks for watching everyone hope this was of some help to someone if it was please like and subscribe as it really helps me out thanks guys see ya